Embraced by snow-capped mountains, this is the construction site for a new international university. Due to be completed by September, the first students to study in this building have passed through a rigorous selection process. The University of Central Asia was established to promote socio-economic development in the mountain regions of Central Asia. It offers internationally recognized degrees and places an emphasis on the skills needed to develop the mountain regions and their economies. The UCA's curriculum focuses on the unique characteristics of mountain regions and their development needs. Future UCA graduates will specialize in earth and environment, economics and engineering. In addition, students will learn about the history and culture of Central Asia, global processes and development prospects. The campus will provide student accommodation, kitchens and sports facilities. The entire site, including the students' medical center, will be connected to the internet. In May, students from Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan and Tajikistan sat an entrance exam. Now those undergraduates who passed the initial tests are going through the second stage of selection. I'm taking extra classes to apply for the UCA this year. If I'm successful, I'll study at UCA. I'm interested in communications and media. I'd like to learn all about new media technology because it's always evolving and changing rapidly. The majority of local people are poor, and for most of the undergraduates, tuition fees are a concern. However, there are grants and tenure loans to support young talent from low-income families. Students will begin to repay the loan two years after they graduate. My family is very big. It will be really hard for my parents to pay for my tuition. I found out about the UCA's financial aid program and I really liked their student loan office. The university provides internships in different companies and encourages students to earn money during summer holidays and save for their tuition fees. Some local Muslim activists are, however, concerned. In their view, if this university is funded by the Aga Khan Development Network, it will promote Ismaili ideology. Dr. Shams Qasim Laka, diplomatic representative of the Aga Khan Development Network in the Kyrgyz Republic, seeks to reassure the public that such concerns are unfounded. The Ismaili community is never uh, is not in proselytization. It does not preach anybody to convert into our sect. This is now a, a historic fact. Over the last 150 years, you will not find this happening at all. Um, and so uh, we uh, were working with our own community. And wherever we work with our own community, we also uh, respond to the needs of those who are neighbors of the community or living with them. The local community is witnessing how Narayan City Park is being transformed into the Narayan Smart Park. Locals are also seeing other changes. Janibek Omikiv is one of the many local residents employed on the construction site. Since the beginning of the UCA construction, approximately 200 to 300 residents from Narin have been employed on the site. In addition, the UCA laid water pipes in the nearby Tosh Bolak village. The university administration is reconstructing the Narin city park into a smart park that will open in August for the people of Narin to enjoy. The UCA campuses are located along the historic Silk Road in Narayan, Kyrgyzstan, Khorog, Tajikistan, and in Tekili, Kazakhstan. But the Narayan campus is located 250 kilometers away from China, a leading economic powerhouse, which may help it achieve its aim to become one of the global centers for economic and intellectual development.